Good afternoon, Ari Maria and Josiah. Today is Tuesday, 4 July 2017. Next, you will listen to turning the violin, tuning the violin, okay? Tuning the violin is very important. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. tune our strings to these four pitches from lowest to highest G, D, A, and E. You can adjust the pitch of each string by tightening or loosening its corresponding pegs. And if you only need to make really small adjustments, then you can use the fine tuners. But not all violins are equipped with four fine tuners. Many come with only a fine tuner on the E string. I highly recommend having all four when you're first starting out. You can tune to a piano, keyboard, pitch pipe, tuning fork, or an electronic tuner. You should always tune your instrument before you play. To begin, set your violin in your lap like this. Let's begin with the E string, which is the highest pitch. I'm going to use an electronic tuner to tune my violin today. This is only a little bit flat. So I'm going to use my fine tuner and turn it clockwise until it matches the pitch. Notice how I pluck the string as I'm turning the fine tuner so I don't overshoot and end up with an E that's too sharp. I turn the fine tuner slowly, a little bit at a time. Next, I'm going to tune my A string. The string is way out of tune. So to find the corresponding pegs, just follow the A string up into the peg box. My string is flat, so I'm going to turn the peg away from me. This time I can't pluck and turn the peg at the same time, so I'll turn the peg a bit and then pluck and I'll keep doing this until it's close to what it's supposed to be. And then I'll go to the fine tuner to make the small adjustments. hard to turn. When I turn mine, I have to push the peg into the peg box a bit while I'm turning it to make sure it doesn't just slip back and go out of tune again. Just make sure you take your time and that you don't turn the peg too much too fast. Otherwise, you'll break the string. Now let's tune the D string. And finally, we'll tune the G string. Meg will be reading music, okay? Musical sounds are indicated by symbols called notes. And the two most important components to every note are pitch, and rhythm. Notes are written on a staff, and the pitch or highness or lowness of a note is shown by where it is placed on the staff. Notes written higher on the staff are higher in pitch, and notes written lower sound lower. To name the pitches, we use the first seven letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. We also have a clef sign, and in violin, it is always the treble clef. 
There are some little tricks to help remember the names of the pitches. For pitches on the lines from bottom to top, E, G, B, D, and F, you can remember the sentence, every good boy does fine. Or as one teacher taught me, empty garbage before dad freaks. For space notes, spell the word face from bottom to top. Next, we have rhythm. Notes indicate how long or how many beats to hold each pitch. For example, whole notes equal four beats. Half notes equal two beats. And quarter notes equal one beat. To keep track of the beats in a piece of music, the staff is divided into measures with bar lines and a double bar line to indicate the end of a piece. To count rhythms, we need a time signature. The top number of the time signature tells us how many beats are in a measure, and the bottom number tells us what kind of note gets one beat. So, in 4-4 four, four time, we have four beats per measure, and the quarter note gets one beat. If the time signature is 3-4, then there would be three beats per measure, and the quarter note would still get one beat. Last, we have accidentals, sharps, flats, and naturals. These signs tell us if we need to raise or lower a pitch a half a step. A sharp in front of a note indicates the note is played a half step higher in pitch. The flat sign indicates the pitch will be played a half step lower. The natural sign cancels a sharp or flat. The accidental is always written directly before the note. These are the basic elements of reading music. Okay. Um, maybe we'll record another video. This is will be eight or nine minutes already.